incomplete dominance, a pattern of inheritance characterized by the formation of a trait that is in between the phenotypes of the parents. Imagine this, you cross a pure red flower with a pure white flower, and the result, a pink flower. This is because the dominant and recessive traits blend. There is an absence of the expression of complete dominance. This pattern is very common in the expression of flower color in most plants. A great example of this is seen in the four o'clock plant, where instead of one trait overpowering the other, the resulting third phenotype is something right in the middle. Next, let's look at codominance, which occurs when two different alleles are expressed equally in the phenotype of the heterozygote. For instance, if we cross a white cattle with a red cattle, we don't get pink, we get a red and white spotted cattle. This happens when one allele is not dominant over the other. The resulting heterozygotes exhibit the traits of both parents. A perfect example of this can be seen in some breeds of cattle. Now let's dive into multiple alleles, which refers to a situation where more than two alleles of a single gene exist within a population. While an individual organism still inherits only two alleles, one from each parent, multiple alleles in the population allow for a greater variety of genetic traits. A classic example of this is the ABO blood type system in humans. Your blood type, AB, AB, or O, is determined by antigens on your red blood cells. Antigens act like labels or ID cards on cells, helping your immune system recognize which cells belong to your body, self, and which are invaders, foreign. Group A, you've got A antigens. Group B, you have B antigens. Group AB, lucky you, you have both A and B antigens. Group O, you've got no antigens at all. Now let's talk about antibodies. Your immune system makes antibodies, which act like security guards. They recognize foreign antigens and attack them to protect the body. Type A has anti-B antibodies. Type B has anti-A antibodies. Type AB, no antibodies. You're the universal recipient. Type O has both anti-A and anti-B antibodies, so it can only receive from O, but can donate to anyone. That's why O is the universal donor. Conclusion. The ABO blood group system is controlled by a single gene with three different alleles. Allele A, allele B, and allele O, also called I, the recessive form. These multiple alleles combine in different ways to produce all four blood types. In addition, there are other traits influenced by multiple alleles. For instance, hair color is controlled by several alleles, leading to a variety of shades, from blonde to brown to black, and even red. The texture of hair, whether it's straight, wavy, or curly, can also be influenced by multiple alleles interacting. Similarly, eye color and eye shape are determined by several alleles, contributing to the wide range of eye colors we see, like blue, green, and brown, as well as differences in shape. Even skin complexion, ranging from lighter to darker shades, is a result of multiple alleles working together. These traits show us how the interaction of different alleles can lead to a diversity of characteristics in individuals.